Published, 2031 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 18th of March 2018. Updated, 2031 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 18th of March 2018. The FA Cup ran side by side with the Premier League this weekend with Mohamed Salah stealing the show for Liverpool while Manchester United, Tottenham, Chelsea and Southampton sealed a date at Wembley. Sportsmail gets the verdict from prominent fans from all the clubs in action over the course of the weekend. Liverpool fans will be telling grandkids they were at Anfield the day Mohamed Salah scored for Peter Bell. Cherry chimes, the importance of this game certainly got to Bournemouth's players, who could not pick a pass. But for a freakish equaliser from Jordan IBE, it would have been Albion's day. Junior Stanislas winning free kick strike was a moment of quality, while Daniel's last-minute clearance has probably sent West Brom down. I can't remember when the Cherries last scored directly from a free kick. But I'm mighty glad Stanislas has been practicing, star man, Junior Stanislas. Alex Noon, read West Brom, I'm lost for words. How many times can a team throw away a lead? That's 24 points dropped from winning positions now this season. If anything I'm looking forward to the championship. We might actually win a game. Starman, J. Rodriguez. Junior Stanislas winning free kick strike was a moment of quality that Bournemouth needed Harry Greenwood better than Klopp. What a poor performance. Towns midfield couldn't cope with the press, and we weren't allowed to play our natural game. That said, the opener came from poor defending at a set piece, while the second was a penalty. Town were limited to half chances, and although Moni and Pritchard tried to make things happen, there was little creativity. We were out thought and outplayed. Starman, Steve Money, J. Crame, the Eagles beak, a much needed three points when players are beginning to return from injury is no coincidence. This was not just a win but a very good away performance and some revenge on that opening day defeat. While the hosts concentrated their efforts on Wilfred Zaha once again, it gave others the space which was used to their advantage. A real confidence booster going into the final run of games. Starman, James Tompkins. James Tompkins scored a goal and was solid at the back. To help Crystal Palace to a crucial win Martin Smith, the Oatcake fanzine, relegation looms. All the big decisions went against us but we were, yet again, our own worst enemies. We make critical errors almost every week and we pay for them every time. Charlie Adams' last couple of contributions to the team have been fairly disastrous and his early red card here wiped out whatever chances we had of winning. The tragedy is that without the harsh officiating and our own mistakes Everton could never have won this game and three priceless points could have been ours. Instead, though it looks as though we don't have what it takes to save ourselves and that we are heading to the championship. Starman, Joe Allen. Joel Parker, Toffee Analysis, from not handling the English weather to sliding two goals in the snow, Sanctosin has saved Everton from embarrassment here. This was arguably one of the most boring matches I've ever seen, technically it looked like both us and Stoke wanted to see who can play the worst football. Charlie Adams sending off was slightly harsh but Stoke benefited from him being sent off. Feel much happier now we're at 40 points and have two wins on the spin, Allardyce has fulfilled his duties, time for him to go and go full pursuit for a new manager. Starman, Sank Tosin, Dave Usher, the Liverpool way, that's how you bounce back. The real Liverpool didn't show up at Old Trafford, but they were back with a bang. Mo Salah had his least effective game for the club the week ago and the poor old Hornets felt the full backlash. The whole team performed well but the Egyptian King's display was so special that Coppets will be telling their grandkids about long after he's finished playing. He was truly magical and warmed up a Baltic evening on Merseyside. Starman, Mohamed Salah. David Anderson, Golden Pages fanzine, if Watford's fate wasn't sealed when Miguel Britos was named on the team sheet, it was when he was left for dead by Mo Salah inside five minutes for 1-0, we were far from terrible but this Liverpool attack felt untouchable. Orestes Carnazis perhaps could have done better for their fourth and fifth. But bizarrely he had a good game despite conceding five. Roberto Pereira's performance was encouraging, and had his free kick been a foot lower, he would have had an outstanding goal to his name, too. Starman, Roberto Pereira. Salah adds to his collection of match balls following a four-goal haul against Watford Eklund Terry, Reed Swansea, a real disappointment to get knocked out of the cup, in what was a really underwhelming performance considering the form we've shown recently. Now we must focus on Premier League survival. And there'll be no excuses from now.
every game must be at full strength and hopefully we can kick on. Starman, Alfie Mawson. Barnaby Slater, the Football Republic, FA Cup quarterfinals don't come much easier than this. Sun was bright as a false nine with Lamella, Lucas, Mora and the outstanding Ericsson all interchanging behind throughout. When given time and space Spurs are unplayable at times and Swansea didn't really look like they believed they could get anything from this. Great chance to win the cup now and hopefully shut all those people up who are saying we need a trophy to vindicate our progress. Starman, Christian Eriksen. Sam Peoples, the people's person, United played against Brighton like a university student approaches their first year, do the bare minimum to pass. The 2-0 scoreline was almost flattering. Naman Yamatic was our standout player. Starman, Naman Yamatic. Simon Cox, Brighton fans, the cup run was fun while it lasted but no complaints at the exit. Once again we matched United in all areas but we got undone by two crosses of exceptional quality. We kept their keeper busy, but no magic. It's the next three games that we must concentrate on now. Starman, Pascal Gross. Pneumonia Matic was rightly singled out for praise by Jose Mourinho following the win. Jay Whittle, guest fan verdict. They always say that every great journey must eventually come to an end. It just wasn't meant to be for the Laddix today. Wigan did the town proud and can keep their heads held high. Good luck to Southampton, deserved winners, and took their chances well. Starman, Christian Walton. Sam Cox, Fresh Saints, Mark Hughes got off to the perfect start as Saints boss by securing a place in this year's FA Cup semi-final. His words at halftime changed the course of the match. As Wigan were the better side in the first half, Pierre-Emile Hajbir grabbed a deserved goal for his performances. This season as Saints took the lead. After Manolo Gabbiadini won but missed his penalty Saints fans were fearing the worst, but late in injury time. Ecstasy ensued as Cedric sealed the trip to England's home of football after slotting excellently past Christian Walton. Starman, Pierre-Emile Hajbjerg. Warwick K, LCFC World, a rash error from the otherwise solid Casper Schmeichel allowed Pedro to sneak in front of him to score the winner. Leicester had been on the back foot in the first half as Chelsea caused a whole host of problems. The Foxes started the second half with a solid performance, which continued with the tie going to extra time. Starman, Wilfred and Edie. Andy CB, Chelsea daft, it took 120 minutes but Chelsea beat a plucky Leicester side 2-1 after extra time to set up a semi-final at Wembley against Southampton. Once again it wasn't the best performance from Antonio Conte's side. But we were able to grind out the result. Goals from Alvaro Morata and Pedro sealed the win as we hold. On to hopes of silverware and a top 4 finish. Starman, N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante reminded Leicester fans what a star player they lost when he left for Chelsea.